everybody, Ann here, just sitting here in the tiny house having my iced coffee with all of you. And today, I think I'm going to pickle some green tomatoes. I may even pickle some eggplant. I don't know. But I got to get going pretty quick because it's going to get hot and it's going to get hot inside. Got to take the chicks outside. Got to clean the coop. Got to whack some more weeds down. Oh my goodness, I've got so much to do. Oh, and check this out. See that? See that right there? I did that the other day when I was um, leaning down to pick up one of the chickens and right next to their little coop thingy inside is the wood stove and I've got that wooden picture frame thingy up and I leaned down and I smacked my chin on the corner of that wooden frame and it just caused a wound. <laughs> I'm injured. Anyway, well, I gotta get going. I got me plenty of green tomatoes down in there. They're nice and firm, so I'm gonna take them inside. but. I was looking around at things, and you guys, look, would you look at that? Okay, I have a hard time seeing this because I'm in the sun, but look at, look at that big, look at that big thing down there. And there's another smaller one right by it. Huh, I may, ha I may get a watermelon after all. Let's get started. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using today. Some mustard seed, some crust red and habanero peppers, some dehydrated minced garlic or chopped garlic, some white vinegar, some sea salt, some sugar. I've got some green peppers, red peppers, a couple of onions, three uh, eggplants, some jalapeno peppers, some herbs, and some green tomatoes. First, let's go ahead and add one and a half cups of vinegar to a bowl. And then we're going to add the same amount of water, one and a half cups of water. <laughs> I wish I had a bigger bowl. Now you're going to add a half a cup of sugar. And stir it up. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of salt. It has to be non-iodized, so kosher sea salt is fine. Then one quarter teaspoon crushed red pepper. One tablespoon of the garlic, nice big tablespoon. two teaspoons of mustard seed. Give it a little stir, just a little tiny stir. And then I'm gonna take it over to the stove and put it in a pot and heat it up and cook it for a little bit. This is how thin I slice my green tomatoes and onions. And now we're gonna layer them in the jar. Just kind of push it down in there. And now to add some herbs. Going to add some oregano, some basil, and some thyme. Just shove it down in there, press down a little bit, and then continue layering.
push it down as best you can. I probably add a little bit too much here. And then add more herbs. Some more thyme, some more oregano, and some more basil. Just shove it down there as best as you can. That looks pretty good. Time to add the brine. I've just been adding it a cup at a time. Make sure you get plenty of those little spices and the mustard seed and the garlic and red pepper flakes down in there. If you need to scoop some out of the pot, go ahead and do that. And just fill it up all the way to the bottom of the rim. And then push everything down again. Take a knife and run it down the side of the jar to release any air bubbles. That'll free up a little space for you so that you can push your vegetables down again. Push it down. Keep pushing. Take half of a green bell pepper or red bell pepper and shove it down into the top of the jar to make sure that everything is submerged beneath the brine. There you go. Looks great, doesn't it? And now we're going to wipe the rim of the jar. I promise that wasn't the same cloth I used to wipe the chicken's butt. <laughs> Put your lid on. And there you go. It's done. Isn't that gorgeous? On to our next project. We've got some eggplants, some chopped onions, we've got some more herbs, we've got some red peppers, green peppers, red jalapeno peppers. So we're just gonna put this into a little tub because I'm gonna put some salt on it and we're gonna wilt these vegetables a little bit. Whoops, a little bit too much of that. Not enough of this. And then with each layer, you're gonna add a little bit of sea salt. Just sprinkle it on and keep adding vegetables. And then more salt. Until you've got all of your vegetables in your little pot or bowl or whatever and that they are all covered with salt. Now we're gonna just kind of, you know, massage the salt in, mix it up, make sure all the vegetables have some salt on them and then we're gonna let it sit for oh, an hour or two. Once it's set, come back and push it down. If you had a colander, you could do this over a colander and just let the water drain out. I don't, so I just push it and squeeze it and drain it into a bowl. Get all of that extra fluid out. And just keep pushing and draining until you're done. Push it down some more. And then you're gonna let it set for a little bit longer. But first, we're just going to drain some more water out. And then, like I said, you're going to let them sit for just a little bit longer. Once they've sat again, push them down again. You're going to get more water out. Yes, indeed. And you're going to drain all of that water out. Look at all that fluid we got out of those veggies. There we go. Now we're gonna rinse it. Like I said, it would be easier to do this over a colander, but I'm just putting in this bowl and I'm just gonna kind of toss it around in some water two or three times and then drain it each time. I actually ended up doing this three times. I think I only showed two times, but I just wanna get that extra salt out. You know, it doesn't need all of that salt in with it because there's already salt in the brine and then just press it and drain it out. And just keep doing that until the vegetables have all of that water out. There you go. Now it's time to fill the jar. Just grab handfuls of it. And I didn't sterilize these jars. I did uh, clean them out and I sprayed them with the one-step sanitizer 
but we're not going to can this. And plus the vinegar and sugar helps kill any bacteria. And put some herbs in. I've got some basil. Just keep layering the vegetables in. Maybe some oregano and some thyme. And these were picked fresh. And this, these two projects that I'm doing today are 100% from my garden. So this is just a very rewarding project. There you go, just fill it all up with all of your veggies. And next, add the brine all the way to the top. And just as before, if you didn't get enough of the herbs in there, or not herbs, um, uh, uh, seasonings, you know, the garlic and the mustard seed and the crushed red pepper and whatnot, just take a little spoon and dip it out. And I had plenty leftover brine too that I'm gonna be using for some other project. Some other pickling project. And then just kind of stir it around, poke it down, add a little bit more brine. And then another green bell pepper to hold everything down beneath the level of the fluid. Wipe your rim off and then screw on your lid. And then you're done. Isn't that gorgeous? Pickled eggplant and peppers and onions. Oh my goodness, I think it's gonna be so good. And here they are together, your pickled green tomatoes and onions and your pickled eggplant and green peppers. Oh, I cannot wait to taste this. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.